वेलकम टू मैथ एफ यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस क्लास आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट डोमेन ऑफ ए फंक्शन एक्चुअली इन फंक्शंस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स आर टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शंस डोमेन एंड रेंज डोमेन एंड रेंज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन फंक्शंस हाउ टू फाइंड डोमेन फॉर ए फंक्शन there are some tricks out there to find a domain how to remember these tricks how to practice these tricks so whenever you know about these tricks you can find a domain easily for a function for any, any type of function so dear friends in domain main important point is simply domain is nothing but input range is nothing but output simple generally we can apply we can input some values through keyboard for the computer for a processing in it in same manner if a domain also can input some values those values are domain values but there are some conditions are there for inputting these values we want to know about those conditions that's all but we can't substitute in the place of x in the place of y whatever it is we can't substitute all the numbers in that expression but you can substitute only some values depends upon conditions that conditions want to know about in domain so see here the set of input values set of input values those are natural or integers or whole numbers Are real numbers what it may be? The set of input values for which the function is defined. The set of input values for which the function is defined. Yes, simply you are substituting the values in the place of x, in the place of variable, what it may be. So we are substituting the values first point. Second point is always domain not equal to zero. Domain not equals to zero. Domain not equals to zero, which contains something value, some value. That is first, second point. Third point is expression greater than or equals to zero. What is expression? Already I told in the last classes, last videos. What is expression? Expression not greater than or equals to zero. For example. x square plus one, yeah, expression, is greater than or equal to zero. This is suitable for domain. Is yes it not? Whenever this expression not greater than or equal to zero at that time, that is not suitable for expression. Okay. Next one is expression in numerator greater than or zero. Already you know what is numerator, what is denominator. This is numerator by denominator equals to expression numerator. Suppose x square minus five. That is expression, which is greater than or equal to zero. That is numerator. Same manner, x square plus three, which is greater than zero. Expression term is greater than zero. Not equals to zero. Always. Remember, an important point is the value, the denominator, not equal to zero, which is always greater than zero. Always greater than zero. That is important point which you have to remember in functions for domain. Okay. So, dear friends, this expression, 
the numerator, this is denominator. So, numerator always greater than or equal to 0. Yes, there is a possibility is there if 0 is there in numerator. 0 by num n number is 0. Okay, that is suitable. But in denominator, not equals to 0. We only greater than 0. That is the important point which you have to remember. The difference between numerator and denominator. This is for numerator, this is for denominator. So, in numerator greater than or equal to 0, in denominator greater than 0. That is the important point which you have to remember. Okay? Next one is, next important point is, always the value in denominator greater than not equal to 0. This is not equal to 0. Numerator may be 0 sometimes. But denominator, the value in 0, not equal to 0. That is the important point you have to observe. Okay, dear friends. This is some introduction about uh, domain. Input values, denominator domain not equal to 0. Express value greater than equal to 0. Express numerator greater than equal to 0. Expression denominator greater than 0. Always the value denominator not equals to 0. These are some prelims regarding domain. Okay, you can take some problems, examples. Okay. See the problem. Find the domain of the real valued function. What is real valued function? Simple, it is nothing but real numbers. That's all. Don't worry about uh, real valued function. That function containing real numbers, that's all. That belongs to R. Find the domain of the real valued function 2x square minus 5x plus 7 divided by x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. See here. Please observe carefully what are the conditions we will have. What are the conditions? Simple. Denominator. No, denominator, numerator. Here, numerator greater than or equal to 0. Suppose, substitute 1. For example, 2 into 1, 1, minus 5, minus 3, minus 3 plus 7, 4 plus 4, greater than 0. Yes or not? That is, okay, greater than or equal to 0. Numerator over. Comes to denominator. Only greater than 0. Only this expression only greater than 0. So, what is the condition now? x minus x, 2x square minus 5x plus 7 greater than or equal to 0. This numerator condition. That is okay. Good. Comes to denominator. x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3 greater than 0, which is not 0, yes or not, the expression denominator not equal to 0, which is greater than 0, what you have to do, for example, if you can take in the place of x as 1, 1 minus 1, 0, not suitable, you can't substitute x in the place of x, value is 1, same manner, we can't substitute 2 in the place of x. Same manner, we can't substitute 3 in the place of x because 3 minus 3 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. That is not suitable condition for domain. So, we can't substitute 1, 2, 3. We can substitute remaining all other numbers. Belongs to R. So, Two x square minus five x plus seven divided by x minus one, x minus two, x minus three belongs to R. This function belongs to R real valued function. Okay? Now we can't take values as one, two, three can take remaining all other numbers. Okay? Simple. Here, the condition is denominator not equal to 0. That means, uh, here, x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, not equal to 0. 
this is not equals to 0. So, what you have to do? You can't take x as 1, x as 2, x as 3. We can take remaining all other numbers, those numbers belong to R. So, we, we can subtract, we can omit the values 1, 2, 3 from real numbers. Remaining all are domain values. Remaining all are domain values. But we can take some 4, 4 minus 1, 3, 4 minus 2, 2, 3 into 2, 6, 4 minus 3, 1, 6 into 1. 6. So, that is correct. 4 is domain. But not 1, 2, 3. That is the important point which you have to remember. So, dear friends, here x equal to 1, x equal to, x equal to 3. We can't take these values. We can take remaining all other values belongs to R. That is domain. But these are not domain values. So, hence domain equals to what this function belongs to? R. R minus 1, 2, 3. That's all. Simple. You can Subtract or you can omit values 1, 2, 3 from the domain. Remaining all are domain values. This is important point which you have to observe. Okay? This is the domain for the given function. See the other problem. Find the domain of uh, root of x minus 6 by cn minus x. Simple. Don't worry about the root, some other things. Simply. Simple. Multiply numerator and denominator by 7 minus 6. Given x minus 6 divided by 7 minus 7 minus x. Okay? Root. Now multiply multiply numerator and denominator by 7 minus x. 7 minus x. Okay. Now x minus 6 into 7 minus x divided by 7 minus x into 7 minus x. We are multiplying numerator denominator with 7 minus x. Okay. Now x minus 6. 7 minus x divided by 7 minus x whole square under root. Okay? Now, which is equals to x minus 6 7 minus x root 7 minus x. Put it as gone. Okay. Now, important point is Numerator greater than or equal to 0, that is the condition. Greater, greater than 0 or equal to 0. Denominator not equals to 0, only greater than 0. See here, you can substitute the value of x as 7. 7 minus 7, 0. So, we didn't take 7 in the place of x. That is important point you have to observe. For, for example, you can take a number line. minus infinity to plus infinity. Those are values. Okay. Suppose first comes 6, after comes 7. Now we can take this value 6, 6 minus 6, 0, 7 minus 6, 1, 1 to 0, 0. 0 by 7 minus 6, 1, 0 by 1, 0. Okay. That is okay. We can take number as 7 suppose for example 6.5 6.5 minus 6 6.5 7 minus 6.5 0.5 so this is positive value okay here 
Suppose we can take less than six. Suppose for example, five minus six minus one, seven minus five, two minus value. So it is negative. Again comes to here. We can take more than six. More than six. This is ascending order. Minus infinity plus infinity. This is ascending order. Ascending order means increasing values are increased. So six point five we can take now. Positive, positive. So it is positive. We can take more than seven. So for for example, more than seven. Seven minus six. Okay, positive. Seven minus eight. We can take eight for example. Seven minus eight minus one. It is negative. Negative, positive, negative. Okay. So, dear friends, we can take the values between six and seven. So we can take six. Is it zero? That is correct. Suppose you can take seven. Seven minus seven. You know, numerator zero. Six so, minus six. Seven minus six one. Seven minus seven zero. Zero to one zero. Seven minus seven zero. Zero by zero undetermined. So we can't take x as seven. So, if x is equal to six, x is equal to six, the value of of the function equals to zero. Okay, if x is equal to seven, the value of the function. Is zero by zero. Zero by zero is undetermined. Undetermined. So we can't take seven in the place of x. Understand? This is very important point. It's not observed. We can take six because. Zero by something value zero. Therefore, domain equals to you can take six, can't take seven. This is open bracket. This is closed bracket. We can't take here closed bracket. Here important point you have to observe. This is difficult problem for some students. We are taking open bracket. This is very important point. Please listen carefully, dear friends. Here, we are taking open bracket. Please observe. Because we are not taking x as seven. You are taking the values less than seven. Six point nine, six point nine five, whatever it is. But we can't take seven. That is why we are taking open bracket. Whenever you suppose if we take seven, the answer is correct. Denominator not zero. We can take close bracket, but this time we can't take close bracket. We can take only open bracket. This is very important point which you have to observe. For some students, this is very confusing question. So please practice this. Only important point is whenever you can take in the, uh, seven in place of x, uh, that will be undetermined. That is why we can't take seven. That is why you are taking open bracket. Okay, that is the that is the reason for taking open bracket. Okay, dear friends, this is very important question for exams, not only for exams, for complete exams like JEE, ATEE, so many. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. For more updates, subscribe our YouTube channel, my YouTube. Thank you.